Hello everyone. We're studying the character in the desert, the character, the person that God used in the desert story and, and also how they developed character while in the desert. Today we get to journey to 1 Kings chapter 17. If you have a chance, I encourage you this week to read through chapter 20 and take in those three chapters and let them be a blessing to you. There's a king ruling Israel who's an evil king, and he's married into a culture that worships Baal, who is supposed to be the god of fertility, the god of rain, the one who gives the blessings on the land. And people are buying into this false god in their culture. And so Elijah comes and he confronts the king. He is so strong, so courageous. So let's pick up at 1 Kings chapter 17. It says, now the Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe. <laughs> what, a, what a name for a town. In Gilead, that's the fertile region. That's where the, the land would have been better agriculturally. It would have been more fertile. And he says, he says to Abraham, Abraham, I'm sorry. He says to Ahab, this evil king, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years except at my word. It wasn't just a few days or weeks or months. Elijah comes and said, for years, you thought you depended on this false god, Baal, at the word of the Lord. There will be nothing until I say so. Wow. Talk about total dependency and trust. Ahab and Jezebel had killed multiple prophets of God. And Elijah's certainly in danger at this point, but he decides that in the desert, dependency means making a decision about who he will follow, follow and who he will trust. And so he says, God, I will trust in you. And he proclaims what he has heard God say, no matter how unpopular it is in that culture, in that day, to that king who certainly would have been angry at him. And then God says to Elijah in verse 3, Depart from here and turn eastward and hide yourself in the brook Cherith, which is east of the Jordan. He gives him a promise. He says, you'll drink from the brook. And get this, I've commanded the ravens to feed you. So Elijah went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and lived by the brook that is east of the Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning. And bread and eat meat in the evening. And he drank from the brook. After a while, the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. In this dependency moment, God tells Elijah to go east of the Jordan. Here's the thing. There's very little water there and a drought is headed that way. But God says, I know how to take care of you if you depend on me. I love that story. And then the ravens come. They feed him bread and meat. That looks very much like another story that Elijah would have understand, understood when God's people were provided with quail and manna as they came through that desert wilderness and were provided for by God on the way to a new place in the promised land. This year, we're headed to a new place, a new year. And I'm praying that God will bless you. You may find yourself in some desert place where the waters dried up, where change occurs, where things can become difficult but I pray that God will cause us to be dependent upon him so that we find that he is sufficient for every situation that you and I face in the year to come. May God bless you with obedience and dependency upon him. I'm Pastor Tim. We've been talking today about dependency in the desert with God. God bless you.